Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. It takes the most despicable kind of person to sit in the safety of her own home, surrounded by taxpayer-funded Secret Service agents, armed to the gills with firearms, willing to lay down their lives to protect her, to sit there and blame five million law-abiding, gun-owning members of the NRA for the mass shooting in Las Vegas. That woman today is Hillary Clinton. You know I'm not the type of broadcaster to hurl ad hominem attacks, and I'm not gonna start doing that now. 58 people are dead. Over 500 others are wounded. But I will set the record straight when a politico so singularly obsessed with her own agenda stoops to the level of slandering millions of innocent law-abiding citizens for a gruesome act of mass murder. The crowd fled at the sound of gunshots, Hillary Clinton tweeted. Imagine the deaths if the shooter had a silencer, which the NRA wants to make easier to get. Well, if that isn't just freaking ignorant. Silencers don't actually silence guns. Not even close to silent. Have you ever actually learned about firearms? Because you are incredibly ill-informed, not to mention distasteful and disrespectful to make such an ignorant, politically charged comment at a time like this. Do you not care about the people who die just a little bit more than your own political aspirations? Our grief isn't enough, Hillary continued. We can and must put politics aside, stand up to the NRA, and work together to try to stop this from happening again. First of all, you can't say let's put politics aside and blame the NRA in the same sentence. That is, in and of itself, igniting divisive politics, which of course is what you do best. Second of all, we don't know yet what kind of weapon the attacker used. Speculating that it was a fully automatic weapon is just that. It's purely speculative. And the majority of people who are jumping to that conclusion aren't doing so because they're firearms experts who can identify the sounds of automatic gunfire, making an educated guess. No, no. They're talking about the weapon because they want to blame the weapon and not the murderer. That being said, it's worth noting that fully automatic weapons are already illegal, as is mass murder. Fully automatic weapons have been illegal since 1986. That's 31 years for you liberals who struggle with logic and math and clearly with history. Let me reiterate, we don't know what kind of weapon the attacker used. What we do know is he was evil and he plotted and waged mass murder. And 58 people lost their lives because of his brutality and his cowardice and his utter disrespect for the sanctity and value of all human life. If he did use a fully automatic weapon, doesn't this just prove our point anyway? that even if you illegalize guns, bad guys who want to do bad things will get their hands on the guns anyway? Let me remind you again, murder is also illegal. And this man murdered 58 people in cold blood, our fellow countrymen. So let's you and I do what Hillary Clinton will not do. Let's not politicize this for our own gain. That's all I have to say about this topic tonight because I won't disrespect the victims and their families by using them as pawns for political purposes. Instead, I invite you to pray with me for the victims who lost their lives, the families grieving the loss of their loved ones, the witnesses who escaped with their lives but who will never be the same, and for our nation. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, and until then, have a good night.